very good but very very windy morning it's Friday the 5th of April yeah by the hat factory hope you had a look at that little vlog that I did on the hat factory I'll put the link below again on this one we're about to move under that bridge and go to the services we've got rubbish to tend to and the usual top up with water do a load of washing again with two kids we do need to do quite a bit of washing and then we want to go, I think, as far as we possibly can. Uh, the next couple of days, very strong winds, up to 50 to 55 mile an hour winds. Th that's not navigable, really, for us. We don't want to be moving in that. So we want to try and cut it down uh, by getting a big chunk of it done today as we're meeting uh, Nikki's mum and dad soon uh, up on oh, the Birmingham Faisley. So we've got to make headway. Let's get going. We've had a lot of rain since we've been here. The towpath isn't very dog friendly. Well, it's not really friendly for anybody, really. Very muddy. Horrible. You would have seen those two work boats go past this morning. I'm sorry it was misty, but uh, we had the kettle on and it was quite cool in the boat so obviously we had a little bit of misted up windows it's nice to see them though first thing this morning you can see the old bridge here with the brickwork and the new with the rendered modern day roads needed widening That's it, we're at the service area, water's going in and washing's on. Just hope that the rain and the wind just keeps calm just for today, just to make headway today. It'll be good, but looking forward to doing the locks and looking forward because every minute we're getting towards new waters and we are looking forward to that. We've been through these waters several times and uh, as beautiful as they are, it's nice to see and go exploring new waters and lots more new waters later this year and we'll tell you a bit more of that perhaps in the next vlog. But yeah, aren't we doing well on the cancer research? Thanks guys, again, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. We will be leaving the link below if you do want to donate. Um, it's brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, let's get clean drawers and let's get going. Well, the top gates are open. Nikki and Lily have got that one ready for me. I'm just letting Mother Nature blow me over that way a little bit. Sometimes it helps, and sometimes she doesn't. Whenever little Lily is uh, helping her mum with the locks, we always tie her hair up. If you've got long hair, you don't want it trapping in those cogs on those paddles. It will literally rip your scalp off. Um, so yeah, we always tuck Lily's hair up in a ponytail, just to be safe. Beautiful little lock garden here. Lovely primroses, daffodils, and a plastic heron. Every canal garden needs a plastic heron. So we've just done one. We've got 10 locks uh, ahead of us. We may be stopping after five briefly, just to nip to a supermarket that's really close there. We need some kindling as well, so bits and pieces. 
and uh, then hopefully carry on as far as we can go as I said earlier. The weather's with us at the moment so keep your fingers crossed. We're doing well. Uh, once we get through this lock, there are moorings real close to the shops. So we're going to moor up briefly, get a bit of a shop to last us a few days, and then continue down Appleston Flight. Six more to go after this. And so, to the shops. the shopping done just got in for a few days probably till we get to Faisley because we are going to have some horrible weather and we are going to have to move 
Uh, that's why we're trying to get as far as we can today, really. Save long cruises in the bad weather. But you'll appreciate with a family of four, like a box of cereal even, if uh, we all have cereal one morning and then the next morning, that's virtually the box of cereal gone and a lot of milk. So uh, we do get through uh, a lot of goods. We, we do eat our way through a fair bit, to be honest. And of course, we have to cater a little bit differently to you in a house. We do have to think about food on the move, what Nikki and I can eat when we're cruising with the boat. Um, you know, we're doing 11 locks today, what we can eat, pasties, sausage rolls, easy things like that, um, they're ideal. So we've stocked up with those. We're good to go. And it looks like Nikki's got the lock ready. I think we're look ready to go. Brilliant. I like that. I can remember coming through this pound a couple of years ago and it was dry, virtually dry. And tragically, we were watching a pike just under this bridge in front in one little pool trying to, to keep going, bless him. Um, he did get away, it was fine. The CRT came and of course all us boaters managed to sort of manage the waterways a bit. But yeah, yeah, it's all right now though. wind really isn't helping at the moment it's blowing me over to the starboard side all the time it's very tricky now to get into these locks but we'll manage
What's that? Noisy dogs. <laughs> Wasn't expecting no. that. Well, that was good to see that higher boat going. At least we know now these next two locks are in our favour. Um, you can probably see in the front of Chugs there, we have got some very dark, worrying clouds coming in. Even though they're not forecast, there's a surprise. <laughs> It's a good job we didn't have to fill it. Only the one paddle working. Looks like a nice spa bath, doesn't it? And the last lock of the day. We've done pretty well. Atherston flight, that's the 11 locks done. We've done quite well considering the wind, the weather, and we have stopped for shopping. So uh, yeah, team chugs haven't done bad. Now for a nice morning for the evening. Maybe by Bridge 50. We'll see. Thank mm -hmm. you.